All right, making money on Obamacare, the co-founder of a website that rates doctors just like Yelp rates restaurants. It's more like an open table kind of website, though. Just ahead, we're going to talk all about that. And so millions of Americans will be entering the health care system under Obamacare, raising some serious questions about whether there's going to be enough doctors to treat them all. Tech startup ZocDoc is in the business of matching patients with doctors and sees this as a big old opportunity. And its backers include Amazon's Jeff Bezos, Sales.com's Mark Banoff. Joining us now, ZocDoc's co-founder and COO, Oliver Karaz. Oliver, thank you so much for being here. Good to be First, here. let's explain to people how it's like open table for doctors and patients. ZocDoc is a place where a service where patients come and find doctors and are able to book appointments 24-7. They can do it on their mobile device or with a web browser. We've grown tremendously over the last few years. We have 4 million patients now using us every month. And uh, they see us as a health ally, both you know, because it's free, obviously, and easy, but also because it's a lot faster. So I went on the site, actually. It was really cool because I was able to put in my location, my insurance, if I wanted to make sure that the doctor was in my network, right? And do you have to go knocking on doors, soliciting to get these guys in the system? So we, we do that. We talk to doctors, obviously, but there is a huge unmet need for doctors because you know 25% of all appointments get changed in the last minute. People uh, cancel, no-show, or the time is un otherwise unfilled. And we create a win-win situation where the doctor gets to see a patient and the patient gets to see a doctor instead of waiting for a long time in the emergency room. It's right, so a perfect, perfect situation is if the schedule is full for the day, right? That's right. the goal of every doctor is to make best use of his, of his time. Absolutely. And I think it's something that's very important for us as a society as we think about potentially millions of patients entering the system, as you said, and zero new doctors being added. So we have a supply-demand mismatch that we can really only overcome if we employ technology. So you're one of the few companies out there that's actually benefiting from this Obamacare disaster, so to speak. I mean, all these people coming on, to your point, they need to see somebody somehow. So we've been around for six years and we have been solving this problem you know, long before Obamacare was in the works. So you know, there has been a, a $120,000 shortage, 120,000 doctor shortage uh, in this country you know, for a long time. And that's why people have to wait on average three weeks to see a primary care doctor, which is pretty unacceptable. On ZocDoc, everyone can see a doctor within three days, and the vast majority of them even see them within 24 hours. Now, let's talk funding. $95 million in funding to date and some really big names backing you. So they clearly see something in this. So you know, we're, we feel very, very honored and, and blessed that we have the trust of our investors. You know, we have the ambition to be really part of the solution you know, for healthcare in this country because we need to make more efficient uh, use of the resources that we're already putting into it. So yes, you know, it's a service that has grown very, very quickly. We have focused on a handful of patient problems so far. There are a lot more patient problems to go. I think healthcare is a challenge of our generation and we'll need actually a lot more resources than that. So there are reviews as well on the site. Mm -hmm. That's why then it's being equated to Yelp a little bit as well. There are reviews, but there's lots of other functionalities as well. So if you're a patient and you go to the doctor, obviously you can book the appointment on, mm -hmm. on ZocDoc. You can find that doctor that has availability for you. But you can also fill out um, the, the forms that you need to fill out when you go there and tell them you know, that you broke your leg when you are five or tonsillitis when you were two. Right, right, you fill right. those out on ZocDoc once <laughs> there's such and a there's pain to forever. Do in the waiting room. Exactly. This information never changes. We have a product called ZocDoc Check-In where patients fill that out once and follows them for, to every doctor they go. And you know, there are other products like this. There's lots of patients' problems. We have to run, but you think you're going to take this thing public someday? Yeah, you know, we're very much focused on making sure that the service is available to all Americans, and that's really the one thing that we're working towards right now. I've got to get my doctors in your system. Oliver Karaz with ZocDoc, thanks for being here. Thanks cool for having idea. me. All right, well, it might.